What's up beautiful people, Lengo here with another tutorial and today we're making an attendance system in Google Sheets using RFID Reader. So before we jump into the Google Sheets, let's see the components that we need. We need an RFID Reader, which is this one, and this one is 125 ki kilohertz. And we also need some cards along with it to, you know, assign to our workers. The next thing you need to do is to go ahead and go in your Gmail and open up the Google Sheets like this. Then you're going to need to make a little list of your class or maybe your employees or your staff. And then the next thing we need to do here is to assign them with their cards before we do the attendance. So this is a beautiful device because it's a plug and play. The only thing you need to do is to plug it to your computer and then it starts reading cards. You don't need to configure, you're not in the program, you don't need nothing. All you need to do is to plug it to your computer. Now, let's assign, after doing the list right here, let's assign everyone with their card. So, uh, I'm going to start with Arize. So, I'm taking a card where it's labeled Arize, then place it right here. You can see it's setting the ID right there. Now, I'm going to take the card for Roberts and then place it right here. I'm going to take Anik, place it right there, and it gives the, assigns the ID, leave, and then last but not least, I'm going to place Ethan. Perfect. Now that we have every worker or maybe student with their card assigned, we need to open up another sheet right here and then do the attendance configuration. So we're going to do it by coming in here and then use a formula. The first formula we're going to need is a VLOOKUP because we need something to look up for us in this list and then compare the you know the placed card and bring the name of the owner of the card all right in our attendance so to do that i'm going to use a vlookup i'm going to say equal to vlookup and then the first uh, parameter is the search key so we need to the search key right here is this column where the i where is labeled ids okay so, and it's B5 up to B. So, I'm going to say B5 up to B. You can see it automatically selected the whole B column. Now, the next thing we need is the range. Where are we looking up all these values? We're looking all these value into this section, this sheet, Google Sheet right here, which holds the names and the cards. So, I'm going to select from here up to there and then go back now the next thing I need to do is to set up now the index after finding the corresponding value with the VLOOKUP which value do, or maybe which column do we need to return we need to return the name and the name in in this list right here is on the second column okay so that's why I'm gonna set up two and then the return value is always false if you have used VLOOKUP before you know that. Just like that, okay? And then, so, um, there's still something remaining. You can see that in here, we're having a non-value, or maybe non-value. So, to get rid of that, I need to use another function, which is called ifNow. So I'm going to open it up right here, if and a, make sure I close it right here, okay. Now because from a up to down there will be ends, if it ever ends, I don't know, it's an array. So we need to, sp to specify that too. So we will now use for that, we will use a formula called array formula. So I'm going to say array formula formula is that right yeah okay formula and then close it up right here and then hit enter boom we have nothing so now if now our worker are you know coming we need to put the IDs on the card and see if the attendance is happening so this is the formula that we used you can take a little pause and copy it and then let's now start reading the cards so now let's say that our class just started and then Adize came first and placed their card. 
you can see that it's bringing their name. Maybe let me zoom in a little bit. Now, if I go ahead and place Robert's card, you can see that it's telling me that Robert just came. Now we have leave. We also have maybe a Nick. Let's now place the card for Ethan. So, or maybe next time when Adizé come back again, Robert's leave a Nick. Perfect. So this is how you can make a simple attendance with Google Sheets and an RFID card reader without any, you know, without having your employees list class stuffs to have to take a pen and write their names on a paper. This is how you can do it. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button or maybe the like button or dislike button and leave a comment if there's anything you need to see, you know, next time on this channel. And until next time, peace. God bless y'all.